Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to see how we can update data in the database. You know in the previous video we learned how we can populate data. When we click on the edit it will automatically populate the data from the user we click on the edit button. So if I click on the create it should send an HTTP request to the server and it should update. But uh, for now you know this form is not going to do that. Let me show you how it is going to work. So if I come to the user that view here, you know, so let me show you the, the simple things here. You know, here is our form. And if someone submit our form, it is going to call create, fu create user function. If I come down, here is our submit button. It's the name is Russian create. And if you click on this one, it will submit our form. So once we submit the form, of course it is going to prevent the default click it means it is not going to refresh the page and it will call a function called create user this is not what we want right because we are using the same model so whenever the model for edit is open it should change the this one it should change the function to edit function and whenever someone click on the new it should change the function to create user so how would you do that basically this is like a little logical if you think if I click on the button on this button there should be something like if something happens so that it should change the type of the model so it said that this model is going to be for the new user and if I click on this in the edit here on the edit icon it should uh, it should tell that this model is for edit so this is what we, we want. So here is how we do that one. That's why in the previous videos, I just changed the the button from the default when you click to open the window to clickable. We, uh, when you click on this one, it is going to call a function. So when it, it called the function, I can do is I can just change a value. Uh, if I come all the way down here, you know, this is the data. So beside the data, I'm going to write a uh, a variable here let's say uh, we say edit mode which is going to be let's say true for now and we put a comma here oops no it should be inside the return of course come down yes so what this is going to do is I'm going to check if the edit mode is true so it should display the edit function otherwise it should display the create function so let's see how you can do this one. You know, I have written the edit mode to true so far. So it is going to be true for now. So what I can do is I can come here, you know, in, in view, you can write expression inside this one, inside your, uh, call, uh, inside this double quote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit mode, then I say question mark it means if edit mode was true do something here otherwise do this one this is going to be conditional like if the edit mode is true create uh, just call this function or put this function let's say we say update user it is going to work like that so this is very basic if the edit mode is true put this function otherwise put this function so let's see how it is going to work uh, if I come here and refresh the page, this time I'm going to check if it is going to put the update user function. So we refresh the page and I open the uh, inspect element here to see that we are going to do the right thing. For now, if I click on the new and let's check out uh, the form here. This is the new and this is uh, going to be our form. So if I open the content here, yeah, here is the form. So if I open, for now it is not displaying anything for the form. So why it is not displaying? Maybe we did not call the function correctly. Let's say this is going to be our function and this is going to be our function. We did not pass the parameter. So edit mode is fine and plus I have to create this function come down you know we have edit model inside your methods just write the function the parameters as well as 
the function block. So far it is fine. If I save it this time, let us refresh the page and see if it worked this time. So for now if I click on this and let's see the form again. Nope, still it is not displaying anything here. So what this is going to do? If I click on the create, it is not doing anything. It means it is calling this function, the edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if someone click on me, just console dot lock um, editing data, something like that. Anything you can display to make sure that this is calling the function. So this time if I refresh the page, Let's see if it is going to call the function. Click on this one and we come all the way down. We click on the create and let's go to the console. Yeah, editing data. Click editing data. Yeah, it is calling the correct function. Okay, fine. Let's change the value from edit mode uh, and let's check it to the false. Let's say it is not edit mode. So this time I save it. It should send another, like it should not uh, call this function, edit function. It should. Uh, send a request to the server for creating a new user so let's see if it is working the thing is like when I show it for you here uh, in view you cannot see like the form if I come here uh, you know you cannot see the form that it has the any clickable thing like that it is going to add that on the fly when you when you are using view so even if you view the source you cannot dis see this code in the source code because these are all in the javascript files so let's see this time what is what the form is going to do we change the value of edit mode to false if i click on the create it is going to send an http request to the server it means yeah it is fine these fields are required that's why it is going to send an http request to the server it means it is calling the create user function here this one it means it's fine so what else is remaining here now the thing we, we we should do is if i refresh the page once if someone click on the uh, add new user here it should change the mode to uh, let's say change the mode to false if someone click on this one it should change it to true something like that or vice versa any any type you can do so what I'm going to do is, if someone click on the edit model, we are going to reset the form, we are going to show the, form, the model window and then we fill the data. Before we do that one, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say this dot edit mode is uh, going to be equal to true. This, this is much simple. So if I save this time, let's see if it works for us. And if I refresh the page, So let's see if this is working. The, the thing, the thing is like, if you go to the view and you click on the user, you know we have our user form here. Okay, not uh, not in the form. We have our edit mode is by default equal to false. So when we click on the edit icon here, it should change it to true. If it it work, it means we have successfully changed like the attribute of our form. So if I click on this one, yeah, it changed to true. So if I close it, it means click here, it is still equal to true. It means if someone click on the new now, it is still equal to true mode. It means it is not going to send an HTTP request. So for this, uh, for this button also, you can add the same thing. Like it should change the edit mode value. What is the other model window? This is the new one. So we come here. Yeah, this is the new one. The if someone click on the new button it will trigger this function so we say this dot edit mode is equal to false uh, is this correct yeah it means this is not the edit mode anymore so this time if i refresh it it should work just fine so click on the user edit mode is equal to false by default if i click on the button it is going to change it to true it is still true if someone click on the new it is going to change it to the false it means now 
it is going to trigger the write function. Click on this. Yes, it sent an HTTP request to the server. So far, it is going to work just fine. So let's see how we can change this button to update instead of this one. I know the video will get a little longer. So this is how basically you do this stuff. So what I'm going to do is hide the sidebar. I will duplicate these buttons. Both of them are going to be the same, but this is going to be not primary success the color should change like and the data should be update something like that but for this one i say we show we show is just a conditional type like you display this one if we have edit mode if the edit mode is equal to true show this one and for the bottom one we say we show if not edit mode basic something like that oops it should be like edit mode i hope i have spelled it correctly it means if the edit mode is equal to true it will display this button otherwise it will display this button the same way you can this you can do that for other uh, stuff like that we have something label here in the header so i'll duplicate this one and i will say update users info and here also i will just write a v show of let's say edit mode if it is edit mode and then we say v show not edit mode so if i save it this time let's see if it work i refresh the page and let's click on the add new yeah it displays that the new title here and the create button here so i close this one and if i click on the edit yes it says update user info it is fine and yeah the button has changed to update so this is basically how you do this one so now what you can do is if i come all the way down you know when it is the edit mode is equal to true it is going to call this function this function is going to send an http request for the update so that is what we are going to do in the next video i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and if you like the content feel free to give a like or thumbs up or write a comment because that is free that is that will uh, cost you nothing but this is how i get uh, feedback like people really um, like my content and thank you for watching